What we need now at the beginning of the year, my brother and sister, more than anything else, God wants to build a career for your life. God wants to see you get married. God wants to bless you. God wants you to be healthy. God wants to give you a family. God wants to give you a house and a car. But more than anything else, what God wants to do, God wants to show His ministry to your life, your calling, your purpose in this life. But before God can use you, God needs to invest something inside of you. And let me say something very powerful. With or without the Holy Spirit is not the same thing. Having the Holy Spirit inside of you, being baptized with the Holy Spirit, it's a tremendous amount of power that you cannot be the same. Without the power of the Holy Ghost, you cannot live that high standard life of Christianity. You're always going to fall down. You're always going to be weak. You're always going to fall into depression and, to, and, and, and addictions and bad habits. But when the power of God comes upon you, and if you desire it, if you pray about it, if you fast about it, God will give you that power. When that power comes out over you and inside of you, the Holy Ghost lives inside of you. You're not the same person. You're not the same boy. You're not the same woman. You're not the same man. Something will change. I don't know how to explain it to you, but I'm telling you my own possible way. You're going to become a different person. You're going to be empowered and strong. And you're going to feel this surge of power that comes over you and it's inside of you. It's like a golden liquid, which is the Holy Ghost that lives inside of you. And any time you're going to be able to say no. And you're going to be able to say no to addictions. If you spend too much time on social media. If you watch too many movies. If you have bad addictions and nasty habits. I'm not going to go into details about it. God wants you to say no more. He wants to change your life. And He wants to show you His meaning for your life and His purpose. And God wants to bless you and to be a man and a woman that God created you to be. But without the power of the Holy Spirit, you cannot do that. You have to experience on your own skin. I tried to explain to my wife. Your friend tried to explain to you, but it's not the same thing. You have to experience it on your own. It's an amazing power that God can greatly benefit out of it. May God bless you. Give me all stand to our feet. I have the pastor come.